Sorry for the mix-up, ladies and gentlemen. My app crashed. The Spreaker whole app just crashed on itself. I'm not sure why it did that, and I have no explanation as to why. But we're back on the air, and uh, as we're ending the lowdown show, um, Corporate Cappy is giving his rating of a three for SmackDown, and I gave my rating of a four for SmackDown. So it just it was underwhelming for a go home show. Yeah. So uh, speaking of go home, we're gonna get into the NXT Takeover Chicago and Backlash predictions. Part of the show, and we'll get into uh, NXT Takeover Chicago first, and uh, we'll start off with uh, Drew McIntyre. He's having a match. Okay, yeah, Greg, we are back. There was a uh, technical difficulties here, Greg, in the chat. Um, the app closed on itself. Couldn't tell you why, Greg. It just closed on itself, and now you restarted. What happens it, so. when you do it live. Yeah. Uh, Drew McIntyre is having a match at NXT Takeover Chicago. So we're gonna do the predictions for that. He's facing uh, Wesley Blake. Wow. And we think this actually might be a dark match. We don't know if this is going to be on television or not, but uh, maybe it'll open the show, maybe not. Wesley Blake is alive? <laughs> it, <laughs> I totally forgot he was still on NXT. I, like, I don't know where Murphy... Oh, I know what Murphy's doing. I mean, I, yeah. I take up all my time with Alexa Bliss, too. But, like, as for wrestling, I don't know where he is. Yeah. Wesley Blake, I mean, <laughs> good that he's back on TV, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> he's facing Drew McIntyre. I think this is just a, a filler... Match for Drew McIntyre before he gets put in the title picture. Yeah, and to be number one contender. And I think uh, if it's a dark match, it's a dark match. If we get it on TV, sure. I'd love to see Drew McIntyre wrestle uh, on NXT and then wrestle back in WWE again. I think they should put it on TV. So if so, we're both going with uh, Drew McIntyre. It's just a, it's just a beginning feud for him. Yeah. Uh, Wesley Blake, good for being back on TV, I guess. Oh, yeah, for um, sure. And why doesn't Drew McIntyre go back to his Broken Dreams theme? Oh, my God. I hate his new theme. He's got the same Titan Tron. But it's got a new theme and it's bad. It's got it's so generic. It's it's not him. He needs the broken dreams theme. One hundred percent. We need to start a petition to bring it back. Yeah, I I might actually start a petition and put it on Twitter. We'll see. Uh, next match: Roderick Strong mm. versus Eric Young. Interesting match. Interesting. Um, the when I was looking up the card, they said versus one or more members of Sanity, but then you mm. told me that it was going to be Eric Young. Yeah. So we're just going to go with it as if it is Eric Young. Yeah. So we'll just go as if it's 1-1. If it's Eric Young versus Roderick Strong. Oh, so tough, man. Good showing by Roderick Strong and the good promo videos they've been doing with this guy. Eric Young, though, so dominant in Sanity, man. And they, they, they keep wanting to make Sanity look credible. I'm I, and I'm, I'm going to do the opposite pick here. I'm going with Eric Young in this match. And I'm going with my boy Sanity. I think Eric Young's going to pull off the victory here against Roderick Strong. Because if well, they're going to go with Drew McIntyre... Roderick Strong can lose this match if he needs to. Well, if they're going to play on the numbers game because there's four guys of Sanity, yeah. four members of Sanity. I don't know if Nikki Cross will be out there, but I'm going with my boy Rod- Roddy. I'm going with Roddy Strong. Roddy Strong. I'm going yeah. with Roderick Strong. I really, really like this guy. Yeah, you're getting I a really lot behind this guy. I really hope that they push him. I really loved the two-part series they did with him. Mm-hmm. I think his in-ring ability is fantastic. I really hope he's the next. He lost the number one contendership to Adeo Atami. So and a good match. Like, a really, really so close match. he's, like, match. right there on the yeah. cusp. And I really want Roderick Strong to get a push. Yeah. I'm going with Roddy, but Eric, it, it should be a really good match yeah. either way. And our boy Eric Young from uh, Canada here. Even though he, he, he yeah. hails from Nashville now. But. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Chow puts, uh, Drew McIntyre wins the NXT title. Jenner Mahal wins WWE title. Heath Slater wins Universal title at Clash of Champions. Triple threat match for all the titles. Crazy. (laughs) Hashtag crazy Michael Chow. If you would have told me that 3MB would be relevant two years ago, that all three of them would be in somewhat of credible roles. In WWE. I would have called you crazy. (laughs) And you know what? I'm glad Drew McIntyre is at NXT. I think he'd get killed on the main roster again. We've already seen that happen. I think he should just stay in NXT. Yeah. Um... So yeah, that's our opinions on that match. I, I'll give it to Roderick Strong if he wins, ends up winning against Eric Young, but I can't for some reason. I, my gut's saying Eric Young, so I'm going with the gut pick and uh, Eric Young. Going with the Canadian. Yep. Uh, next match: Authors of Pain, Authors of Bore versus DIY. Do it yourself. Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano, Johnny Wrestling, in a ladder match. For the tag team championship. How are Authors of Pain going to do ladder spots? I don't know, but it's, it's, it's funny you say that because actually I saw a tweet yesterday by Tommaso Ciampa, and he, he took a picture of his TV screen. He was actually re-watching the triple threat ladder match at WrestleMania 17 mm-hmm. between the Hardys, Dudleys, and Edge and Christian. And uh, he's like, and he captioned it, doing some homework. Hashtag NXT TakeOver Chicago. Good. 
So but, uh, are authors of pain going to bring out the big show ladder for that? Yeah, what's going on with that? I really want to know what's going on with the ladder situation with them because they're big boys, man. And a normal WWE ladder, they'd break it. So these are definitely going to be the big. I think they're going to be the the, the big black reinforced ladders yeah, that we've seen before. Yeah, <laughs> I think it, they're, both teams are going to be using those. So I expect a lot of good spots out of this match. I think there's going to be a, a crazy like these guys. Every and I'll give it to the officer pain. Every match they've been there's been crazy spots with them. Like like not good spots, but like they've taken power of, move spots. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like stuff that they can do. And, and DIY DIY is yeah. good enough that they can carry bo- a bulk of the match. Mm-hmm. I think we're going to see a lot of good spots. I think someone's going through a ladder. The gut saying someone's going through ladder. It's gonna be that spot between the barricade and the ring, and it's gonna be that that broken ladder, and someone's going through it. Um, oh, it's so tough. I want my boys DIY to win here, but I honestly think they're the next boys to get called up, and they're gonna get called up this summer along with Oscar. So I'm saying Authors of Pain retain the titles here, and they continue just dominating the tag team division until someone comes along. And for some reason, I I know it's bad, but I think. Heavy machinery for some reason is going to get a big push, and they're going to beat Authors of Pain because the crowd at NXT is getting behind oh heavy machinery God. every week. They look so. like local competitors. <laughs> I, t- I texted you. It looks like Rhino's uh, lost cousins. And big Cass's fat cousin. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think if there's a title change on this show, it's going to be the tag team. Guy. I'm going with DIY. Oh, okay, okay. Because I think they could beat. Authors of Pain in this style of match and not have Authors of Pain to, look yeah, bad. To me, just take over this early. I think there's going to be no title shot, to, title change. It's just going to be a good show. They haven't showing. had a title change for NXT yeah. in a long time, though. They yeah, haven't had true. one since 2016. Yeah. And I think DIY could use another run with the title. And like I said, Authors of Pain isn't going to look bad if they lose this match. It's not like yeah. they're getting pinned. Yeah. They're just, they're just getting the titles from them first mm-hmm. off a ladder. Greg says, "Where's TM61? Uh, the one guy's out six to eight months. Greg, Nick he has Miller, a uh, he's a torn rotator cuff. Yeah, so he. I wasn't a big fan of them anyway. I don't know. They were getting some hype, man. The, the European crowds and a lot of people were getting behind them a little bit. They had a good showing at Takeover Toronto when we seen them. That that good spot off the, the finals of that. that big ladder thing. I don't know what that big yeah. crane thing that did that big spot, but uh, I'm going with DIY. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll stick with Authors of Pain. Uh, Michael Chow puts, am I the only one who, th- who thinks that Akam from or Razar look like juiced up D'Lo Brown? <laughs> no, I think they look like Rosie and Jamal wannabes. <laughs> but with shield attire. Rest in peace to three-minute warning, man. <laughs> Their three-minute warning with shield attire. <laughs> Odd. Mixing of two Samoan f- factions together. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, move on to the women's match, and I'm one I'm actually looking really forward to, and not a lot of people are, but I am. Uh, women's NXT Women's Championship Triple Threat Match: Asuka versus Nikki Cross versus Ruby Riot. I see this being extremely physical, like a lot of strong style here. You got Asuka, who's crazy. Ruby Riot, who's a freaking nutbag, and, and kind of proving herself to be one of the top people in the the women's division. Uh, and trying to prove herself, and then Nikki Cross being a nutbag. Like this is going to be a, a crazy match, a crazy physical type of match. Uh, I'm still going with Oscar to retain. I, I still going with that. She's going to get called up to the main roster as a champion and undefeated. undefeated. So, but all, not taking anything away from this match. I think, I, although I think Oscar can retain, I still think we're going to get a good showing out of all three. And I think this is going to be a way. Because after Oscar leaves, they're going to need to push people and and make people look credible in the women's division. Because then you have nobody. So I think this is going to be a way to make Nikki Cross and Ruby Wright look like okay, these two girls can hang in the women's division and they can lead the women's division after Oscar leaves. So I you're obviously going to have Cross. Amber Moon, that's going to be there too, and Peyton Royce. But you're going to need to have more competition. So in a way, it's good for Nikki Cross and Ruby Wright to look good in this match to be the the next competition for the next champ after Oscar gets called up. I agree with Nikki Cross, but I don't think Ruby Riot. Is... It's because it's too early for her. You don't give her enough credit. You have to wait for her to groom herself, and she's still grooming herself. She's had two matches. How can you already say that she's already? You can't give her credit. You'll Why? see. You wait now, and when Ruby Riot proves herself, you'll be okay. I was right. Where was? Where's Liv Morgan in this? Liv Morgan is interesting because they only. It's like she's. And it sucks because I like her. She's put into the jobber state on NXT unless they're waiting. It's almost like they're waiting for this women's tournament to see who comes out. What comes out of that too? And where's Peyton Rice and Billy Kay? I thought there was. I thought that, that may, it goes back to what you were saying. Maybe someone gets added to this match. Oh. Maybe Peyton Royce gets added at the last minute. Like myself and a lot of people out there that I've read on Twitter, they said that you know missing Ember Moon just like kind of took the sales out of this match. A little it did. Bit. 
It did. It sucks for that injury, man. But uh, I'm going with Oscar. Obviously, I mean, there's yeah. no way. There's no way she loses to one of the. If she loses to one of these people, I I'll lose some credibility for the women's division in NXT. Like I'll lose a lot, especially because neither of these two girls are like no. ready yet. No, Asuka's. none of them are. As much as I'm trying to get them to, to get boost up, none of them are ready for that title yet. They both of them haven't shown anything to be champion worthy. But I still think it's going to be a really physical match. There's going to be some crazy shit in this match. Um, sure just I, I got a Nikki gut Cross feeling a about that. Nutbag. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Chow wins. Authors of Pain get called up to Raw. <laughs> rename the three minute. Rename them to three minute warning because Raw is three hours. <laughs> I don't have nothing to say about that. <laughs> uh, but again, we go with the great Asuka, and we'll move on to the glorious main, event. main event. Glorious main event of Hideo Itami versus Bobby Roode for the NXT Championship. Uh, I want to point out one thing before Greg said earlier. Does Adam Cole debut a takeover? I think he's going to be there. I think he's going to be in the crowd. He's it's going to be gonna, that crowd spot. Sitting yeah. down again. Yeah. Unless he inter, for some weird reason, unless something, someone at NXT just decides that maybe Adam Cole is the next guy and interferes in this match in the main event. Uh, if not, then Adam Cole is just going to be sitting there in the crowd and they they spot him. Um, Hideo Tommy versus Bobby Roode is going to be a good match. Uh, Hideo Tommy, interesting man. Uh, CM Punk uh, apparently doesn't like that he's been using the GTS, and Hideo Tommy is actually. Taking a shot, I don't remember where I read it, and I don't remember what he said. He took a shot at CM Punk about the GTS, maybe Did, about him, maybe about Punk him using it, it in Tommy CM to Punk. Begin with. Yeah. Then why is he complaining? It's not like you. Not everyone's allowed to use wrestling move. Well, I don't know who did it first because Punk's been using it for a long time. Like I mean, a very long. So are you time. telling me that Shawn Michaels is mad that Dolph Ziggler and about a thousand yeah. other wrestlers are using the super kick? So I have to read more into what the whole thing behind this is. If he is, is complaining, that's complete garbage. I don't know if it's complaining or is it maybe Hatami took a shot at CM Punk saying, I'm going to be using the GTS in your hometown or something like that. Because <laughs> that's Hatami's finishing oh move. Oh my god, if GTS. he does it, the Chicago crowd is going to chant CM Punk through the whole match. <laughs> oh. um, but I see this being close. It's not going to be a, a complete domination by Bobby Roode. But I see Bobby... Again, we both are going to agree with Bobby Roode retaining here. No way he loses the title to Teo Tommy. This is going to be a one-off. And I think Tommy's just going to come back up after. It's exactly like what happened to Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn got called up. He got hurt. Did his rehab. Went back to NXT for that match with Nakamura. And then came back right after that. So I think that's going to happen with Teo Tommy. I think this is a, yeah, a one-off bridge feud to something bigger for Bobby yeah. Roode. This is Bobby Roode's NXT. He's winning. Yeah. Uh, Michael Chow hashtag Michael Chow creative don't break Charlotte's streak and keep Asuka undefeated when Asuka gets called up Charlotte versus Asuka at Wrestlemania streak for streak that would have been that's the smart move and what they should have done but they didn't so that's why Charlotte is uh, top of my list for Barry that's why I wish Michael so Chow was in the creative you would have done that <laughs> no, Michael Chow would have not, had not had Charlotte lose for five years because he loves Charlotte <laughs> anyways yeah I think it's going to be a good match and there's going to be the, the I don't know if he pulls off a full GTS. We'll see. I think he does, but Rue will kick out. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, just that's going to be like a, a shot at CM, CM Punk. Punk. Yeah. <laughs> so Bobby Roode wins. It retains the NXT title, bridges off to his next feud. Plain and simple. Yep. So we'll move on to the backlash predictions for this Sunday. Interesting. It's SmackDown producing another good uh, SmackDown brand pay-per-view. It's going to be interesting. So we'll start off with the kickoff match. And it shouldn't be a kickoff match. <laughs> It should be in the in the, in the the main card, but of course they want to do Luke Harper and Air Groen in the main card for some reason. Now Air Groen has finally turned to his clown gimmick. It was shown on Smack Talk, or Talking Smack this week. Wow. Um, so Dillinger versus Ain English, whatever. It's good. Ain English is going to lose once again to Ty Dillinger, and Ty Dillinger is going to win in probably two minutes. Show off his new version of the tiebreaker, and Ty Dillinger wins. I, I can't really predict this match because it's just going to be. A showing for Dillinger, his first pay-per-view. Maybe he cuts a promo before the match. Who knows? And why they they kept having this in dark matches overseas when they had when they were on the European yeah. tour. I'm just done with this feud. Yeah. Hopefully it's the last part, and then Ziggler goes off to something better Ziggler. after this. Or sorry, Dillinger does something better after this. Ziggler versus Dillinger. <laughs> well, that'd be great. I love that. Um, so we'll move on. We'll just talk about it and get out of the way. Luke Harper versus Eric Rowan. I don't give a shit. I'm going with Luke Harper. I absolutely I don't care about this match. I don't I, care. The only thing I care about or that grinds my gears is the fact that Luke Harper lost to Eric Rowan clean the other week. And yeah. what happened to the Luke Harper push we were getting with Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt? That completely went out the window. I'll pick Eric Rowan. Sure. Why not? I'm going with Luke Harper. Next. Gets, maybe gets his resurgence win after losing. Sure. Why not? Uh, Michael Child, Ty Dillinger versus Aiden English in the best of three series. <laughs> More like the best of forever series, man. God. 
Um, Sami Zayn versus Baron Corbin. We're actually really intrigued for this match, and we're really looking forward to it. Sami Zayn versus Baron Corbin is going to be a very physical match. There's going to be a lot of good spots. Corbin obviously proves that he can uh, compete with the top guys and maybe put over top guys and, and just do a lot of good spots with the top people. So him versus Zayn is going to be a very, very good showing. And uh, if Again. I'm picking a winner, I'm picking Baron Corbin. They continue to bury Sami Zayn. There's no way he wins. Yeah. No, I don't think Zayn wins at the pay-per-view. I think Corbin's going to win. Or if... Or maybe Zayn wins by a roll-up or something. Yeah, it's going to be something cheap like that if, if Zayn ends up winning. So Because didn't Corbin lose last pay-per-view like that? Yeah. Did he face? I don't remember. It was, no, it wasn't Apollo Crews. Was it Apollo Crews? No. Last paper was remember. Last paper was uh, WrestleMania. I don't remember the one before that. I'm pretty sure Baron Corbin lost the match. With well, he Baron lost to Dean Ambrose at WrestleMania. <laughs> uh, anyways, you know uh, uh, let's move on. No, I haven't picked yet. Oh, you haven't picked? Oh, yeah, you haven't picked the winner. Because now I'm I'm thinking Zayn might win dirty or like with a roll-up. Roll up. So I'm going to go with Sami Zayn by roll-up, actually. I'm I think Corbin's Corbin. going to dominate the whole match and Zayn's going to get like a, a cheap win. And then they're gonna have a rematch on SmackDown and Corbin's. The game. only way I see Zayn winning is if it gets D, if he gets DQ. I think Corbin takes it over the top and just gets himself DQ'd and starts beating you know the shit out of I, Sami I can Zayn. See that too. Yeah, so I'll go with Zayn, not clean. Okay. Uh, Charlotte, Becky, and Naomi oh. versus the Welcoming Committee, and why the title is not on the line at Backlash, we don't know. Who knows what the fuck's going on backstage? <laughs> And what the reason is for the title not being on the line. It should just be like what Michael Chow said. It should be uh, Carmella versus Naomi versus ti- for the title. Because she's Carmella deserves her, t- her title shot. She has two wins with Naomi. Just get her out of the way. And have Charlotte and Becky face the, wel- the other two members of the welcome committee. And then have Charlotte turn on Becky. But regardless, I think Charlotte's turning here. That's the only thing I'm intrigued about this match is... Honestly, I could see Becky be the one turning, to be honest with you. Yeah. I could see everyone's it. saying that too that Becky Lynch might turn, but because no one's predict like everyone's like saying, "Oh, Charlotte's going to turn, Charlotte's going to turn," but I think they could swerve and then <sighs> Becky be the one. I was it. agreeing with that, but I now that they're they scrapped the idea of turning Charlotte babyface, I don't think it's going to happen. Well, who knows if they've completely scrapped it? But if they are scrapping it, I'd be happy. Yeah. But I think someone's turning on someone here, and the welcoming committee is winning this match. Yeah, I think they're going to win it too because I think there's going to be turmoil within the other team. Yeah. Um, some point. <laughs> Barrett Corbin's last pay-per-view match was before Mania was at a win over Dumpster Kalisto in a great chairs match at okay. TLC. It, maybe it wasn't at a pay-per-view. It was definitely on SmackDown then. He yeah. lost on a roll-up to Stone. I think it was Styles. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did it was Styles. I think I think it was Styles. It was on SmackDown. Yeah. But I'm going with the welcoming committee. Yeah, the because cringy committee. Something's and then, gonna happen yeah. within the other team. And they'll have cringe worth at ringside, hyping yep. them up. Yeah, sure. Uh, the Who are Usa- you going with? I go with the welcome committee because I just see one of them turning. It's going to be Charlotte turning, and it's costing them the match. It's going to happen. Gonna, I think it's going to lead to Charlotte versus Naomi again for the title. Yep. Move on. Good, 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 good match that we're looking forward to. Usos versus Brazongo for the as SmackDown Tag Team Championship. I don't want them to give them four minutes. Yeah, they need to have a good showing here. They need to have at least ten minutes. Yeah, I'd say ten minutes is doable, and uh, I think the Usos are going to put up a good showing too. This is going to be a good match. There's a lot of potential here. Putting the entertainment side of putting entertainment side aside, aside, <laughs> and the promos aside, wrestling wise, Usos for Brazongo is going to be really good. All Obviously, four guys are really good wrestlers. All four of them are really good wrestlers. So this is going to be a really good showing. I think Chicago is going to really get behind this, and they're really yeah. going to get behind Brazongo. Yeah. Although I'm going to go with our fellow podcasters' idea of the Usos retaining and going against the New Day after, so I'm picking the Usos to win. But a good showing by Brazongo in this case. And I think we're going to get another Fashion Files before their match at Backlash. Uh, I'm going with the Usos too for the exact same reason you said, but I think Brazongo puts up a really good fight and yep. it proves that they are to be contended with yep. in the tag team division. Yep. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura versus Dolph Ziggler. Again, I wouldn't be surprised it's the main event. I know WWE it probably won't be, but they're hyping it so much and I think they've done a good job of promoting it that it's going to be a really good match. The The dark matches have improved over time leading up to Backlash, so it only fits that Nakamura versus Ziggler at Backlash is going to be an epic fight. And we just know how good Nakamura and Zayn was 
Zayn is basically almost this. I I put Ziggler and Zayn almost in the same category as their style of wrestling. So Nakamura versus Ziggler is going to be a really really good match. I think it's going to be a really good back and forth match. I seriously do not see Nakamura losing his first pay per view. No, absolutely not. I think Ziggler's going to win and Ziggler's going to win. Or sorry, Nakamura is going to win. <laughs> <laughs> swerve swerve no Sh- shinsuke is definitely gonna win i think it's a great first few for him facing a former world champion and a, a f- one of the top wrestlers in the company like dolph ziggler yeah and like you said they've been promoting this whole backlash all around shinsuke nakamura so why not have the main event yeah especially in a crowd like chicago that would get behind a really good wrestling match as the main event but i'd be so pissed in nakamura lost man this is so uh, this is so vince if he loses i really want our boy casey to come this Sunday and watch it with us because if he loses I want to see Casey's reaction side, side prediction why doesn't Shinsuke have a warm up match on the kickoff against Sin Cara really right he needs to, he needs to prove okay Ziggler beat Sin Cara so Nakamura has to obviously because I can't take Nakamura actually credible anymore because he didn't beat Sin Cara just saying you need to beat Sin Cara to look credible have him have two matches one on the kickoff there needs to be a Sinkara. gauntlet match Sin Cara needs to face everyone who needs who wants to look credible on Smackdown and see if they can face him or beat Unbelievable. him. Uh, Michael Chow, creative. There has been, there has to be a woman's money in the bank at money in the bank. That would be a great way to break up the welcoming committee, which they need to do. Duh. <laughs> Can yes. James Ellsworth be in the match? Can and he wins. please be an entrant? Can you imagine he wins? I would lose it. I'd love it. Uh, Kevin Owens versus AJ Styles for the U.S. title. This is going to be so good. These guys put up a really good feud before, man. I think if, if they're not going to make Shinsuke and Dolph the main event, this should be yeah. the main event. This not is going to be really good. Title. This is going to be so good. The Styles versus Owens is going to be good. That, th- both these guys are in- insanely great wrestlers, and both are the top guys on SmackDown. For them going against each other for a minor title is is insane, but still, it's going to happen. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. I can't. I'm so on the fence because they could go two ways with this. If they go with Owens and Nakamura for the U.S. title, like they've been advertising at live events after Backlash, um, maybe Owens does win here and and uh, maybe wins dirty somehow. But I can also see AJ Styles winning the U.S. title here and being a U.S. champion on SmackDown. I mean, he was just the world champion, so why wouldn't he be good enough for the United States championship? Yeah. And because I can't decide, I'm just going to go with the uh, the bias pick and pick Kevin Owens to defend or to retain his title against AJ Styles. I think Owens or Styles wins by DQ. I think I think Owens gets himself disqualified in this match. Yeah. And I think they that. have a rematch at Money in the Bank. Yeah. And I think Styles wins it at Money in the Bank. That'd be good. I so, love that. I, I think Owens is going to get disqualified in this match somehow or win dirty. So, move on to the main event. <laughs> boring versus boring for the WWE Championship. That's the main event. Chicago. If this is the main event, Chicago is going to shit all over. Yeah, I really match. hope it's not. Randy Orton versus Jinder Mahal for WWE Championship. I can't get behind this match. It's not going to be good. It's going to be rest hold after rest hold after rest hold after rest hold after, after rest hold after, after rest hold pose. after Jinder pose after Randy pose after rest hold and then we're going to get an RKO out of nowhere and maybe we'll get a Jinder Mahal finisher but uh, I don't know who to pick here because either one could be the champion after Backlash but whatever because of the whole India push I'm going to go with Jinder Mahal to beat him and win the WWE Championship. And they're going to do a whole f- one-month feud up until the next pay-per-view. And he'll lose it at Money in the Bank. Jinder Mahal's losing it if he wins it. If I he love- wins, Jinder Mahal's losing it at the very next pay-per-view or on SmackDown the same week after. There's no way to carry on with Mahal after this, man. I cannot see it happening. But I wouldn't be surprised if Randy Orton wins. And then they actually do stop with the whole Mahal thing. And they do Randy Orton and somebody else. I don't know. I think Mahal is just a bridge feud for Orton. I think they're building Mahal up. They've done a good job to make people think that he can win this match. Yeah. But I think Orton's winning. Like he, he can't have a who, one-month title. Who's Orton right? going after? Who's Orton going to feud after? If they don't do Mahal Orton after this, who is Orton going for? Like, I honestly can't. There's no clear-cut number one contender right now. You could go with Shinsuke. Yeah. Oh, my God. An early WWE Championship feud. But, no, it has to be a, it has to be a heel, right? Yeah. Maybe Baron Corbin. Yeah. Because they just had the match on the main event of, of SmackDown, and Corbin looked really good. But... Maybe I don't know because next pay per view is Money in the Bank, so like all the top guys are gonna be in the Money yeah. in the Bank match. So it's like, will Orton even have a match on? So Money they're gonna have a rematch. So if Jinder wins, they'll have their rematch at Money in the Bank. I think Orton. I think Orton retains. Do you think they still have a rematch? Probably because all the other top guys are gonna be in the Money. Or in unless the bank Jinder's match. in Money in the Bank. Maybe Orton gets a pay per view off at Money oh, in the Bank. Oh God, Rusev. Greg says Rusev. Yes. That's right. 
Thank you. It's gonna Greg. be it's gonna Rusev be Rusev versus next. Randy Orton. Yes. Yeah. So Orton is winning this match. Yeah. Okay. I just took my pick back. Yeah. <laughs> Randy Orton's Thank winning. You, Greg. Yeah. Michael Child had a really good point here. This is actually what something that could Michael Child could uh, his his prediction actually could come true. Calling it, there will be a spot where Randy Orton counters Jinder's finisher into an RKO out of nowhere. Oh, yeah, we, yeah. Yeah. That could happen. I and, can see it happening. And Rusev said he's coming back for his title shot at Money in the Bank. Yeah. And I think Jinder might slide back down to the mid card, and maybe he'll win the U.S. title at some point. <laughs> yeah, but the only way that's happening is if AJ Styles beats Owens, and then they face. But no, AJ Styles would probably be. It in could Money be in the a Bank. SummerSlam thing. It's so. This is what's good. It's so unpredictable. What's going to happen after Backlash? This I is don't why think... SmackDown is good and exciting because it's unpredictable. If Jinder loses, I don't think we've seen the last of him with a title in a title shot. No. So. I don't think so. They they need to push this whole India thing, even though they all they love is Roman Reigns over there. Well, but. I could see Styles versus Jinder for the U.S. title at SummerSlam. <laughs> all right. Uh, that's enough with that prediction. But that's it for the predictions for both shows, guys. Uh, top top three matches from – we'll go top match from NXT. That's going to be match of the night? Yeah. Match of the night will probably be the tag team match. Again, they, they put on – Top match of the night for sure. I'm saying there'll be a, there'll be the top match of the night. I'm going Eric Young, Roderick Strong. What? How is that going to be the top match of the night out of all those matches? Because I think it's going to be a great match. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> top two matches from Backlash. Top two. Yeah. Oh, number one is definitely the welcoming committee for Charlotte Naomi. Okay. And... Can you give me a real prediction? <laughs> all right. Uh, Knock more Ziggler. Number one, obviously in my books, that's going to be the top match of the night. Number two, Owens and Styles. There's no way Jenner and Randy have a spot in the top two. That's going to be a terrible match. It's so predictable. It's terrible. It's not going to be the main event. It's not happening. Luke Harper. No, I'm kidding. Not. (laughs) I'm going with Usos and Brazongo is going to be one of the best matches. Yeah. And I'm going to go with Styles and Owens. You don't think Ziggler and Nakamura is going to play a good match? It's going to be good, but I think people are are overhyping it a little bit. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm going to be corporate as hell and say they're overhyping. You're corporate cap. you got to be corporate. (laughs) Usos and Brazongo will have a good showing. All right, guys. So that's going to be it for the predictions. Let us know your predictions down in the comments on YouTube for this one. I think I'm going to split this up from the podcast and make it its own video. So let us know your predictions and what's going to happen at both events down in the comments on YouTube or tweet at us at NoHoldsBarWP. We'll be sure to reply to you. uh, Uh, Other than that... We're going to have... Are we going to do a live podcast? Oh, yes. After... after? Let you guys know. After Backlash, we are going to have a live show where you can call in and we can chat about the event, maybe chat about the weekend, what you guys thought of NXT TakeOver Chicago. So stay tuned for that show right after Backlash. So we'll on be the holiday right holiday weekend. Yeah, so so you, watch you out for the tweet. We're waking up on Monday for the for work, so you can tune in. Yeah, so you guys want to call in the show? Add us the Lowdown Show on Skype. I'll add you to the contact list, and you'll be able to call into the show right after Backlash on Sunday. So stay tuned for that. Other than that, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this week of, of the Lowdown Show and this prediction video. So I'm going to do the, the, the outro here for the Lowdown Show on this one. I couldn't do it for the last one, our, our, our Lowdown Show. So wrapping up for week seven of the Lowdown Show on No Holds Barred Wrestling Podcast, your Canadian-based WWE podcast that discusses Monday Night Raw, Tuesday Night SmackDown, and does predictions like these of NXT TakeOver Chicago and Backlash. Remember, every week, the Lowdown Show is broadcasted live right here on Spreaker, available at Spreaker.com slash NHBWP or on the Spreaker app, available for all Android and Apple devices. After we're done recording, it is posted on Spreaker itself in full and on our YouTube channel, YouTube.com slash NHBWP, and on iTunes and Stitcher Radio by searching up The Lowdown Show. So go there and give us a five-star rating if you would, please. You can follow the podcast on Twitter at NoHoldsBarWP and join in on the conversation by having your thoughts and questions read right here on the show. We are also available on Facebook and Instagram by searching up NoHoldsBarWP. All links will be in the description on YouTube. I'm your host, the self-proclaimed greatest host, Kyle Masters. And every week, I'm continuing to be joined by my co-host. He is the blissful boss, Mr. Corporate himself, Corporate Kathy. Best say what? What? Exactly. <laughs> Guys, have a wonderful holiday weekend. Wonderful NXT Takeover Chicago. Wonderful and glorious backlash. I should have said that for NXT, but it doesn't See matter. You after backlash. See you after backlash, and we are always here reminding you to keep it on the lowdown. So what you gonna do about it? Gonna keep this story there, but what you gonna do?